Alrighty guys, we got us a American Standard Builder's Model with the Clima Tough Compressor. Let me show y'all what we got going on. I already pulled the disconnect. I'm gonna pop it back in. I hate these disconnects, but. No condenser fan motor. And I just did a maintenance on this system not long ago and the capacitor was good. It's picking up speed. There it goes. And I just changed out the capacitor on this thing about a year ago. So I'm gonna check the capacitor, see if the capacitor's good. If it is, we'll have to get them a outdoor fan motor. I had brought my leak detector and gauges and everything back here. I thought it was gonna be a Freon issue because we had to put Freon in it not too long ago and I found a leak in the evaporator, but I don't think that's gonna be our issue. So I'm gonna take this panel off. That capacitor is barely a year old, but we're gonna check it. Okay, guys, there's no good place for me to prop the phone. I'll, I'll show it to you. Okay, so this is really weird. This capacitor. Looks like it's complete. This capacitor looks like it's completely dead. So the only thing that I could see starting to compress it would be the hard start. But if we go calm in the fan. We have nothing. And if we go calm in the Herm, we have nothing. And that capacitor is barely a year old. Unbelievable. Let's see if this one's USA made. This might be a Mexican one. It's a U USA made capacitor and it's dead in, in, a, in a little over a year, a year and two months. That's very disappointing. All right, so I got my meter on microfarads, just making sure. Common, that's the four pin and then Herm is the three pin. Zero. Oh, wait, one of my meter leads is not pushed in all the way. So, let's try that again. Still nothing. Common to Herm. Common to Fan. Absolutely nothing. So, we're going to go grab a new 35.5 off the truck. You can see the date in my initials. And this is a USA made capacitor. And I don't think they'll give me a warranty one. I think it only come with a one year warranty. Unbelievable. Okay, so I recently bought a bunch of these uh, Trade Pro green made in USA capacitors right here. Baker was having a special on them. 
so I bought them. So we're going to test it. Common to Herm. Thirty six. So my meter's not crazy. Common to fan. Five point two. So my meter's not being crazy. I thought maybe my meter was being crazy there for a second, but it's not. So we're going to put this on here. I'm going to date it. There it is. There's the date and my initials. I'm going to try to do this with one hand. All right, now I got two hands. This thing here just wants to fight me. There we go. I like to leave it where you can see the size and the date. And you can see the size right there and the date. So now we're going to wire it up. This is a common from our contactor. And then we have a purple wire in here from the fan motor that goes to common. And then we have two oranges for the compressor. One from the compressor, one from the hard start. The hard start was the only thing starting that compressor. So we got our two compressor wires hooked up and now our brown goes to the fan. We'll take this off. And now we'll hit our disconnect. We'll hit our disconnect and the fan motor should fire unless it's bad. Nope. and recheck the charge while I'm here. So let me get my gauges on it. Okay, you can see here where I wrote in the panel that the charge was low on 5-12-22. That's when we did the maintenance and I topped off the charge. So I'm about to set my gauges up and make sure the charge is okay. And then this is a 410A system. Train is very easy. Whatever the first number is, that's the refrigerant. So if that was a two, it would be R22. But being that it's a four, that tells me that it's 410A. So uh, we're gonna check the charge. Okay, so we got a low superheat, but it's like 90 degrees upstairs. I'm gonna leave it like that. And uh, let the space cool down. She lives five minutes from my house. I will stop this afternoon and recheck the charge for her. This is her upstairs system and she has company coming over this weekend for Father's Day. So I'm gonna let the space cool off and then I'll come back and recheck that charge. But it's running. So I removed a little bit of charge because we were flooding back. So we got almost five degrees of superheat now and that way it won't flood liquid back to the compressor. I'm still gonna let the space cool off and swing by again this afternoon, but, and I'll try to get a shot of that, but if not, that'll do it for this one. We'll see y'all on the next one. Thanks for watching.